Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the Synology DS923 Plus Network Attached Storage. This product allows you to very easily set up a secure storage location on your home network that you can access from all the computers in your home and even access the device when you're away from home through your phone or your tablet. So you're basically setting up your own private cloud where you can store your photos and your videos and other important documents and view them from any computer on the network or even share them with family and friends. Now, if you've never used a network attached storage device before, it's incredibly easy to set up. You'll essentially put some disk drives in the front, you'll plug it into your network, you'll plug it into the wall, you'll walk through a couple of configuration steps, and all of a sudden you'll have additional storage on your network that every computer can access. And I'm here to tell you, all of us are living a digital life nowadays where all of our photos are digital, the video recordings are digital, a lot of important documents like our health records, our tax records, all the things we care about are digital, and you've got to park them someplace. Now, if you store them on a hard drive on your computer, that's probably easy to access from that computer, but it's difficult to share them with other members in the home. It's also at risk because you've got a single disk drive in there, and if that disk drive fails, the data goes away. And how important is that data? So having a network attached storage box like this where you can park all those important documents and then know that they're protected. Because these boxes offer RAID protection, which means if you lose a single disk drive, the data's still there. You can slide a new drive in and the data will be dispersed across the new drive. So you've always got multiple protections built in where the data is not going to be lost if you lose a disk drive. The other thing that's important is you can easily park those documents in a public cloud, but who knows who's looking at those documents out there in the public cloud? We hear all the time about hacks and malware and all kinds of intrusions. I don't trust the public clouds. So I like setting up a private cloud in my home behind my firewall that I can access and I can give access to family and friends. Now I've used NAS drives ever since they were de designed and, in and introduced into the market and I've used a lot of different brands over the years and I just had one fail on me for a company that went out of business and I was searching for a new drive and I came up with the Synology DS923 Plus. And the reason I chose this one is because first off, Synology has been in the business a very long time. They're one of the oldest companies out there that build NAS drives. They also build consumer versions, they build business versions, and they have sort of a prosumer version, which the 923 fits into. The consumer versions are great, typically a two disc setup, this is a four bay setup, but they make commercial versions that are 16 and even larger disk drive setups. For me, this is plenty big. Now you can use a wide variety of different disk drives inside the unit, starting with a two terabyte, a four terabyte, an eight terabyte. I'm going with really big drives in this one. It'll handle four drives and I'm using 18 terabyte drives, which is going to give you more than enough storage for my pictures, my kids' pictures, <laughs> my wife's pictures, all the movies and things that we've digitized. They'll all fit on this box. And the beauty again is everybody can get at them. If they're home and they want to share a video when the kids were young, they can get it off the NAS. If they're in the field and they've got a friend, they want to show something on their phone, they can access it from the phone and they can actually show them that file there. So it's really the perfect landing zone to keep your digital life organized and keep it secure. So let me talk a little bit about this particular model. As I'd mentioned, the uh, DS923 Plus has four drive bays on the front and essentially to add a drive to it, you'll lift up on the lever and the disc carrier comes out like that. Now I don't know if the drive's in it right now, I pulled them out for this review, but there are no screws required. They couldn't have made this easier. There are little tabs on either side that pop off like this. You put the disc in the tray and you snap this back on and that holds the disc in the tray. And then once the disc is in here, you basically slide it in the unit like that and close the unit and that's it. It makes connection in the back. And again, you've got four drives on the front. There's a power button right over here to turn it on, and there's an indicator to let you know the power's on and the disk drives that are installed. There's also a USB-A connection on the front, because in addition to the drives that are inside the unit, I can put a thumb drive there, and then I can either copy it to the drives internally, or I can read it over the network. So it provides network access for USB drives for all my computers, which is pretty cool. Around back, you'll find a few more connections. First off, there are dual fans back there. I love that, because disk drives are gonna get hot when it's operating, so you want something that's gonna evacuate the that heat and most of the NAS boxes on the market have a single fan. I worry about that because it's going to get full of dust and debris. It's going to slow down and maybe it's not going to evacuate the heat so efficiently. So having two fans back there means it's sharing the load between those four drives and pulling that hot air out. In addition to that, 
you'll find a connection right here for your network. There are two LAN ports on this unit. They're both one gig each. So one gig E is the fastest network at home right now. A lot of people are talking about 10 gig. That's not there yet. Most of the network connections that you get from your cable company, one gig is about the fastest you'll find. And you've got two connections there and you can actually use both of those at the same time. You could connect one of your network and connect the computer directly to the other one to give you ultra fast access from one computer. But if you just plug it into your network, you're gonna be good to run. In addition to that, you'll find a connection below it. That's an eSATA connection. Now, again, if you're not a computer nerd like me, you probably don't know what eSATA is, but SATA, S-A-T-A, is a type of high-speed connection between disk drives. Matter of fact, all the drives that are inside the unit use a SATA connection or SATA connection in the back end to the back plane. The reason you have that connection is because with the DS923, you can actually add another cabinet to it that holds five more drives. So four drives isn't big enough for you. I don't know how you'd exceed that, but who knows where we're gonna be in a couple of years. You can plug in a 417, which is their expansion chassis, which gives you five more drive bays. You'll plug that eSATA into there, and it's like you've got five more drives that are added into the RAID couplings inside the unit. So it's it's a good way for you to sort of expand into those extra drives. Another key difference is when you add that expansion cabinet, you can actually do a backup from the drives in here to that expansion cabinet. Now think about that. This unit has RAID protection built in, which means you've got a couple of choices there. It could be RAID 1, RAID 1 0, RAID 5, a couple of different, maybe RAID 6, a couple of different RAID profiles, and you can read about those on the internet. You're probably going to want to go with RAID 5, and what RAID 5 means is if you have four drives, one of those drives is not going to be available for capacity. It's going to be used for correcting the other three drives. I'd recommend a RAID 5, but the beauty is you can start off with two drives, you can put a third drive in when you want or when you can afford it. You can put the fourth drive in when you need it or you can afford it. And this automatically adjusts the data across those drives to take in advantage of all that extra space. So it's a smart box that'll expand as you need it. So you're not forced to buy four drives right away. You can add them as you need to. And then if you add that second expansion cabinet, now you've got five more bays, again, that you can expand further into, or you can copy from here to here doing a backup. Because even though this is rate protected, Heaven forbid two drives go bad or three drives go bad at the same time. I know that's like lightning striking twice, but you want to make sure you've got another backup because if you're like me, all of your files that are digital from when the kids were really young, if I lose those files, that's a big chunk of my life that's gone. There's no way to replace that. So I don't want to take any chances. I want to make sure it's RAID protected and copied to another unit. But again, the beauty of this, you don't have to start off with everything at once. You could start off with the unit, put a couple of drives in it, start firing data at it. And then you know your data is secure. And if you need more space, slide another drive in, slide another drive in, add the expansion chassis. So it's a pretty cool product. Then on the bottom, there are two doors right there. And those doors are for flash drives. I don't have them in here yet. Again, I'm gonna put them back in. I brought this downstairs for the review. But you have a slot there for two of the S uh, NVMe, they're SSD drives. And if you pop those drives in, and they can be smaller, that's a cache acceleration. So essentially, if you've got flash drives in there, firing data at the unit, one of them is a read accelerator, the other one's a write accelerator, firing data at it from a computer, it'll end up in that flash drive until it can destage to the disks. So it gives you extremely fast performance from your computer to the unit. The other one is a read cache, which means if you're doing video editing and you're pulling a lot of files off the unit, it'll actually stage them in that cache to get it to your computer even quicker. So it's a, it's a really intelligent box that does everything you can to deliver the data fast and store the data fast. Now, in addition to that, what Synology's done with this? A lot of the NAS boxes on the market are very, very basic. The one I had before, I guess I had it for about 10 years and it finally went, the controller went on it. It was a really basic box. I mean, it did a good job as a NAS drive and I'm not gonna tell you who it was because I don't wanna pick on them. <laughs> but anyway, it didn't do much more than NAS. It was great for network connectivity. I could shoot files to it. It would store the files. It would send the files back if I needed them, but it didn't do a lot more. Synology has an operating system inside this box that allows you to, app to load applications on top of the basic NAS functionality. So you can download applications from the Synology website that do things like video surveillance. If you've got cameras outside your home and you've got to store that video somewhere, there's an application that'll take that and organize it for you. There's actual backup applications you can run right on the box that'll copy the data from here to somebody else's NAS drive on the network or to another computer. My suggestion is, even though it's RAID protected, use that backup software to copy those files somewhere else, and now you have two copies on your network. There are also uh, RAID protections built into the box automatically, and you can change those RAID protections over time. My suggestion is start with RAID 5, you'll be perfectly happy with it. It gives you a good balance of storage capacity versus protection.
Another thing they've got built in is virus protection. It's got the ability to check the files that are there. If you get a file off the internet, you're not quite sure of it, and somehow it lands on this box, the unit will check that file. If it thinks it's malware or it thinks it's a virus, it'll let you know that, and it can actually park it somewhere safely until you go in and make a decision about it. And there's probably, I don't know, tons of other applications you can download that'll organize your photos, organize your videos. There's a media streamer in here, so if you download videos and you've got family videos on here, if you've got a smart TV or you've got some type of media streamer, you can point it directly at this and stream those files right onto your TV in full 4K resolution. So what I guess what I'm trying to get across is it's a wonderful storage solution, and that's really where it starts. It's a network-attached storage. Plug it into your network, plug it into the wall, add it to your computer, and you can store a lot of data here. You can share that data with computers on the network in your home, and you can even access it, like I mentioned, from your phone or your tablet when you're away from home. So if you're like me and you travel a lot with work, most of your important files are on this at your home. If I'm in Sheboygan, I can actually use my phone to download those files to my phone anywhere in the world I happen to be, and it just makes things a whole lot easier. So I like it an awful lot. Honestly, I did a lot of research on it before I purchased this product, and there isn't a company out there that I trust more than Synology, and I felt like the DS923 Plus was really the perfect mix of consumer NAS and professional NAS in a small box that holds four drives, has the ability to expand, has built-in RAID protection, and a whole lot of other options through applications that this can become way more than a standard NAS box for me over time. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I think it's a great product. I've been using it for about two weeks. I think you're going to like it a lot. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy.